Hey, hello, hello, what's up? What's up, YouTube? We got another uh, video today. On my last video, I showed you um, how to disable your Windows Defender using the uh, Group Policy Editor. Now, this time, we're going to do the exact same, but we're going to go ahead and uh, disable it using the, the registry, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and access the registry you can do that both ways uh, well actually in a couple of ways you can just go ahead and right here on your search bar right there you can just type in the word registry it'll take you right in there or you can go ahead and just uh, type in your key windows plus R and type in the word regidit in the same way you just go ahead and hit OK it'll take you right into this right here now before we go ahead and uh, do this modification it's always good to go ahead and uh, go ahead and create a quick backup so we're gonna go ahead and uh, select file before you do that though just make sure that your whole computer is is selected so just go ahead and uh, select computer and then you go ahead and hit export and you can just go ahead and put it anywhere you want on your uh, desktop or anywhere you know you can just go ahead and put it export and just put uh, any name And um, I already have mine right here on my desktop, so that actually backed up my whole um, my whole registry on my on my desktop. So then, in case you do any errors or whatever, it'll be right there. All right. So then, after that, we're gonna go ahead and go straight into the uh, local machine. And then afterwards, we're going to go ahead and select this one, which is the uh, the key that says software. And then you kind of you can also open this a little bit, that way you'll be able to see it more. And then after the uh, software, you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and select the one that says policies. And then, then Microsoft and then there you go see it's right here it's Windows Defender so you go ahead and click the little arrow right here, right there Windows Defender now if you don't have yours disabled you're not gonna have any new keys right here so we're gonna go ahead and create that right now you're gonna go ahead and and uh, right click select new and we're gonna go ahead and and select this one D word 32 bit value now we're gonna go ahead and give it a name we're gonna put a disable anti spyware just um all together all you know you can just uh, no spaces dashes slashes or anything like that then you go ahead and double click on it and then by default it's gonna be hexadecimal you go ahead and just give it a quick value like one or so then you click OK and that's it then afterwards you can just go ahead and exit out of it make sure that's there now we'll go ahead and go back again local machine remember software then we're gonna look for policies Microsoft Windows Defender 
see and that's the one that we just created you go ahead and uh, you know just double click on it again just to make sure it's there and uh, you go ahead and just do a quick restart eventually when you go ahead and click restart I don't want to do that right now though it it should actually give you a message that says Windows Defender it's by default it's has been disabled by the uh, group policy editor it should give you a message though that it's that it's actually been uh, disabled if you do that right now it's not gonna go ahead and give you the message though so you can just go ahead and type it in though Windows Defender you can run it as admin and see though it's still gonna tell you that it's not uh, see Windows Defender firewall is off it's still gonna give you that message right there but once you go ahead and do a quick restart it's gonna go ahead and give you a a message indicating that it's been disabled so you, you should be all set after that so once again that should do it right there you should be, be all set if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them right there in the uh, comment sections please subscribe and hit like on this video okay peace out and thank you very much